The Voice John Legend claims Blake Shelton's King of the Voice crown. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. For years, long time The Voice coach Blake Shelton declared himself king of the singing competition show. But now that he has retired from his post, there's another self-declared king in town. John Legend has officially usurped the place left by Shelton by calling himself the new King of the Voice. The moment happened on Monday nights, October 9, episode after Legend recruited contestant Elizabeth Evans to join his team. The college student performed a powerful rendition of Paramore's All I Wanted, and Legend beat out fellow coach Reba McIntyre to have Evans on his team. After the performance, he was feeling pretty good about himself and his team. Now that Blake's gone, I am the most experienced coach on The Voice, he said to the camera after the segment. You can call me the OG. I am the king of The Voice now. The king of The Voice reference comes from season 19 in 2020, when Shelton declared himself the king. Shelton even dressed up in a king outfit to demonstrate his royal status while the other coaches, then legend, Gwen Stefani and Kelly Clarkson, scoffed. Even then, Legend showed signs of wanting to take Shelton's crown, as he once said, it's time to knock him off that throne. This season, Legend may be proving his royalty, as he has recruited many talented singers to join his team. However, he has Queen Reba to contend with, as well as reigning winner Niall Horan and longtime coach Stefani. The judges have already admitted that a centire may be one to beat on this season. Legend specifically called her ruthless after she blocked him from contestant Brandon Montel on Monday night's episode. The coaches will finish filling their teams as the blind auditions continue, and only time will tell how each team stacks up. It was a night like no other on the set of The Voice. The air was electric with anticipation as the studio audience eagerly awaited the start of the live final. Fans held up signs and banners, their cheers echoing through the auditorium. This season had been particularly intense, with new talents emerging and established coaches facing fresh challenges. But the biggest story of the night was the changing dynamics among the judges. Blake Shelton, the long-standing king of the voice, was about to face a new rival, John Legend. Blake had been a staple on the show since its inception, winning multiple seasons and earning a reputation as the coach to beat. His charm, wit, and undeniable knack for spotting talent had made him a fan favorite. However, John Legend, with his suave demeanor, musical genius, and string of successful prodigies, had been steadily climbing the ranks. Tonight, the crown of the voice was up for grabs, and John was determined to claim it. As the lights dimmed and the show's iconic theme music began to play, host Carson Daly took the stage. Welcome to the live final of The Voice, he announced, his voice booming through the speakers. Tonight we'll witness incredible performances, surprising twists, and the crowning of our new champion. But first, let's welcome our coaches. Blake Shelton, Kelly Clarkson, Gwen Stefani, and John Legend. The audience erupted in applause as the coaches took their seats, each one waving and smiling at the fans. Blake, ever the showman, gave a playful bow, while John nodded gracefully, his eyes glinting with determination. The final contestants were a diverse group, each representing a different coach. There was Emily, a soulful singer with a powerhouse voice from Team Kelly, Marco, a versatile and charismatic performer from Team Gwen, Olivia, a country pop sensation from Team Blake, and Andra, a classically trained vocalist with a modern twist from Team John. Each contestant delivered a stellar performance, showcasing their unique talents and the guidance they had received from their coaches. The judges offered their critiques, but it was clear that the decision would be tough. The audience was on the edge of their seats, hanging on every note and every word. As the final performance concluded, Carson Daly took the stage once more. Ladies and gentlemen, you've seen the best of the best. Now it's time to vote for your favorite. But before we do, let's hear from our coaches. Blake, how do you feel about tonight's performances? Blake leaned forward, his trademark grin in place. Man, it's been an amazing season. I'm so proud of Olivia and all the hard work she's put in. But more than that, I'm proud of all the contestants. They've all grown so much. 
Carson turned to John next. John, this is your moment. How does it feel? John smiled, a mixture of humility and confidence. It's been an incredible journey. Andrew has shown such growth and versatility, took the and microphone. I be proud. His voice steady but emotional. I am deeply honored to receive this award. Coaching on The Voice has been an incredible experience, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to work with such amazing talent. This isn't just my award. It belongs to all the contestants who have inspired me with their passion and dedication. Thank you. With the special announcement concluded, it was time to reveal the season's winner. The atmosphere was electric, and the contestants stood nervously, holding their breath. Carson held the envelope in his hands, the tension palpable. And the winner of the voice is Olivia from Team Blake. The crowd went wild as Olivia burst into tears of joy. Blake rushed to her side, lifting her into a celebratory hug. It was a moment of pure elation, a testament to the hard work and dedication that had brought them to this point. John watched with a mix of pride and determination. Though his contestant hadn't won, he knew this season had been a turning point. He had earned the respect and admiration of his peers and the audience, and he was ready to continue his journey on The Voice with even more vigor. After the confetti had settled and the celebrations had died down, the coaches gathered for a private after-party. It was a time to unwind, reflect on the season, and look forward to what lay ahead. Blake approached John, a bottle of beer in hand. Congrats on the coach's crown, man. You deserve it. John accepted the compliment with a smile. Thanks, Blake. And congratulations on Olivia's win. She was amazing. Blake nodded, his expression thoughtful. You know, this show has always been about more than just winning. It's about the music, the growth, and the journey. You've brought something special to the table, John. You've pushed us all to be better. John felt a surge of gratitude. That means a lot coming from you, Blake. I've learned a lot from watching you work. Your dedication and passion are inspiring. The two men shared a moment of mutual respect, a silent acknowledgement of the changing dynamics. The competition was fierce, but so was the camaraderie. They were part of something bigger than themselves, a show that celebrated talent, creativity, and the transformative power of music. As the new season of The Voice began, the atmosphere was charged with excitement and anticipation. John Legend, now a seasoned coach, was ready to continue his quest for excellence. Blake Shelton, ever the veteran, remained a formidable presence, but there was a newfound respect and camaraderie among the coaches. The auditions brought a fresh wave of talent, each contestant eager to impress and secure a spot on one of the teams. John and Blake found themselves competing for the same artists, each using their unique charm and expertise to win them over. One standout contestant was Mia, a young singer with a hauntingly beautiful voice and a powerful stage presence. Both John and Blake turned their chairs for her, each offering compelling arguments for why she should join their team. John spoke first, his voice smooth and persuasive. Mia, you have an incredible gift. Your voice is unique, and I believe I can help you refine it and reach your full potential. Together, we can create something truly special. Blake, ever the charmer, leaned forward with a grin. Mia, you've got the talent and the heart. I've been on this show for a long time, and I know what it takes to win. Join my team, and I promise we'll make music that moves people. Mia looked between the two coaches, her decision weighing heavily on her. Finally, she smiled and said, I choose John. The audience cheered, and John beamed with pride. Blake clapped along, a good-natured acknowledgement of his rival's victory. It was a small moment, but it signaled a new era on The Voice. The competition was as fierce as ever, but there was also a spirit of mutual respect and collaboration. As the season progressed, the rivalry between John and Blake continued to heat up. Both coaches were determined to lead their teams to victory, and the competition pushed them to new heights. John's team was diverse and innovative, while Blake's team was strong and dynamic. The live shows were a roller coaster of emotions, with stunning performances.